All right, and we're in the kitchen with Kevin Oswald from Beer Garden. What are you making today? Would this make you my friend? Yes. <laughs> what are we cooking? This is lecho. It's a very traditional Hungarian dish. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I like about it is it's, it's a varied dish. Okay. It can be a side dish. It can be breakfast, lunch, dinner. You can add eggs to it. All you right. can add sausage, Great. ground beef like today. So we'll explore some of the many options that this Hungarian lecho brings. And uh, we'll have Kevin start doing all the cooking. We'll be right back. We're back in the kitchen now with Kevin Osvo from the Beer Garden. He's making a dish. It's Hungarian. It's called Hungarian Lecho. And we want to get started. You've actually started with some onions. But first of all, let's backtrack. Tell me exactly what is this dish? It's just vegetables? Yeah, essentially, um, it's um, onions. And you want to, onions and peppers. And you want to slice them, you know, quarter, quarter inch in width, mm -hmm. julienne, if you will, and uh, chop up some tomatoes, which I've done here. Uh -huh. um, so it's Hungarian lecho. So is this like a staple? Yes. In Hungary? I'm yes, not yes, super yes. familiar with Hungarian food, so not enlighten me. Not many people me. are. Right? <laughs> it's a very traditional dish, and like I said earlier, it can be served as uh, breakfast. You know, add some scrambled eggs or a sunny side egg up on top. Mm -hmm. Lunch, dinner, they might add ground beef or Hungarian sausage, mm -hmm. um, and um, or a side, which we've done at the beer garden, and which we will be doing this week. Okay, so this is something you do serve at the beer garden. It's not on the regular menu, okay, but, but it's right a, now. it'll be a weekly special. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Okay, so we start out with the onions. What are you doing? You're just kind of well, we cutting those? Yeah, we're going to we put the onions on about a medium heat for about five minutes, and I just dropped the heat off, and we're going to add some uh, Hungarian paprika. And I did a little mix. This is uh, like half smoked paprika and mm -hmm. half, uh, my, uh, well, it's got a little heat. It's not a full, <laughs> it's not a full. Well, when you say paprika. Hungarian paprika, yeah. what does that mean? Well, there's Spanish and there's, you know, California paprika. Right. So the Hungarian variety is what? Is it a little more spicy, a little more mild? Uh, both. It can be either. They have okay. a mild, they have a, a hot, they have a smoke. It's just the Hungarian variety. It, the, the Hungarian <laughs> uh, paprika is kind of like a, I think we mentioned this before on the show, it's kind of like a, it's a, it's a big thing to them. They're, okay. They, you know, they're. Really, uh, it's used in almost probably all their dishes. Almost, all. you look at your recipes. goulashes and so forth. So we're just going to blend this in mm -hmm. really well here. Mix it in. We return the heat, and now that we have, we're going to add um, the peppers. The peppers. Okay. We've got three different kinds of peppers over there. I'm using. Um, well, we're using an orange bell pepper and a red bell pepper, but we're also using a Hungarian wax pepper. Oh. Now it doesn't really matter. You can add. Um, you can use banana peppers, bell peppers. You know, whatever it is that you happen to like. What flavor you like? Okay. Um, the, so you can pepper it up any way you like. Right. The uh, onions, they cook for about five minutes mm -hmm. before you add your peppers. And your pepper's going to cook for, I'd say, fifteen. Mm -hmm. You want to get them good and soft. After we have all the peppers cooking, we will add the tomatoes. Mm-hmm. And we're going to add. Um, so you want to cook them down where they're just a little bit. Soft. You want to get them soft, um, and once the tomatoes are in there as well, you really want to get them soft, almost paste-like, mm -hmm. kind of like you would do, you know, if you were making a, um, a homemade uh, pasta sauce. Great, so. great. Okay, so we're going to let those cook. How did uh, Oktoberfest go for you guys over there at the beer garden? That was a lot of fun. Yeah. So yeah. now are we kind of like now? Yes, we're going to gear up for the holidays over there. Yeah, we're getting ready. Um, we have one event we do on the holidays. It's a a big beer tapping uh, mm -hmm. for it's a very beer, special right? beer. Absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're, we're getting ready for that. It's a little calmer from the Oktoberfest, but then gearing up for something else. We're letting our lecho cook. So, what else are we going to be doing to it? So, we're going to let those cook, okay. and then what happens next? Just like I said, we'll cook for about 15 minutes. You want to continually stir it. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to add um, the tomatoes, mm -hmm. and we're going to add about a teaspoon and a half of salt and a teaspoon and a half of um, sugar. Okay. Now, this is sugar in the raw that I'm using. All right. Use whatever you like at home. Okay, and um, we'll get to that in our next segment. And we're going to add an additional little twist, which we'll let you know about uh, when we come back for our second segment. Thanks. So good. Right. So far, so good. We're back now in the kitchen with Kevin from the beer garden, and he's been working on a dish called Hungarian lecho, and it's coming together pretty well. Um, it's like a lot of peppers, onions, and then you put some tomato. Tomato, some salt, and uh, some sugar, and uh, the Hungarian paprika. 
All right, the Hungarian paprika. We can smell <laughs> that, the aromas. Now, you say you like this dish because it's something that could be a side, it could be a main dish. You can add different things to it. And so, your little twist today is you were going to put in some ground beef. Right. I mean, what's nice about it is, you know, it can be a vegetarian dish. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like we used olive oil, you know, but you could also. Some people like to use lard, so, you know, um, <laughs> whatever your preference is. Right. And um, we're going to add some ground beef to it today. You can add sausage or whatever it is you and like. And you can add even for breakfast. Breakfast an with egg. an egg. Um, <laughs> sunny side egg is a very traditional way to serve it for breakfast yeah. over there mm -hmm. with some nice toasted bread. Um, I would like, I would mix it with a scrambled egg. Right. Mm. So if, since you're adding the ground beef, you browned it separately, and then you would just throw it in there with it, or you would just... Um, you could, or just if, kind of serve it on the side. Yeah, with it. if you were going to say, serve this was going to be your dish for your family, family of four, friends, whatever. Yeah, I would mix the beef in there with it, just mm -hmm. like if you were making spaghetti. Right. Um, what I'm going to do today, or what I would do at the restaurant, because you never know who wants what, is we'll, we'll go ahead and do this separately. Mm -hmm. So you don't so. have to mix it in there. That makes Not it nice and easy. Give it mm -hmm. lots of options. Um, mm -hmm. Now we were talking about the beer garden. Well, one of it's called the beer garden, so you've got to have beer. All right, absolutely. We have, oh gosh, three to four hundred uh, different beers in at any given time. Mm-hmm. So uh, three to four hundred. Now, have you do you personally get to taste every beer that comes through? Um, I can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> yeah, yeah I've, I've tasted most of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, with three to four hundred, is is there any particular beer for the lecho that works best? Well, you know. The lecho being that it's um, by itself, you know, vegetarian, a nice wheat beer would go with it mm -hmm. or um, even a good pilsner. Um, if you're adding some beef or some sausage, you might want to go with a little a beer with a little more body, a little more flavor, maybe a darker beer or even an amber. I mean, it's a very versatile dish, again. Right. So. And so you guys are just wrapping up, speaking of beer, wrapping up October fest festivities yes. at the beer garden. And for the holiday season, you're going to get special beers, special uh, events maybe? Yes, we have. Uh, we'll have all of our Christmas beers in from around the world. And on the 6th, we always, every year, tap a beer called Sammy Klaus. But we tap a vintage Sammy cake. Klaus. Yes. Cute. Yes. And uh, it's a big deal. People come. The beer, usually the keg is gone in like 30 minutes. Really? So. So when, when you get some of these special ones in, is it kind of like a first come, first serve type of thing? Yeah, people line up. I mean, by the time 7 o'clock when we tap it, the, the bar is full. Wow, wow. All right. So, yeah, you know, if, you, if there's something you want at the beer garden, sometimes it's in limited supply. Can be. All right. So that's looking good. You said you cook that off for about 20, 25 minutes once you get the uh, After you add the tomatoes to it. Mm -hmm. um, tomatoes, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take some out and mm -hmm. um, plate it up here. You know, you think peppers, you think, oh, it's not going to be hearty, but that actually, once you add the tomato in, it looks like it can really be a meal. Absolutely. Especially if you add the ground beef, or like you said, you could do some sausage. I, uh, we have a, one of our employees at work is a vegetarian, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, so I was able to cook this for him yesterday, and like I said, you know, if you have your friends over, you can have... Um, if, if some of them don't like absolutely. meat, then and they, they just can, want the veggie version. And that's what, that's all they need. All right. Okay, so as you're plating that out, let me give out your info. The Beer Garden, they're at 438 High Street in Portsmouth. You can call 393-6022 or go to beergarden.com. He's got like 300 beers on tap. There's his Hungarian Lecho, Kevin, as always. It's nice having you in studio. Thanks for stopping by. Pleasure. Thanks for having me.